Well, this looks like a fun one. Greetings and welcome to Smartwatch Ticks. We're a YouTube channel on the web at smartwatchticks.com. A meteor has landed. Yes! And we didn't have to shoot a spaceship at it either. Whoa, look at that uh, packaging. That's sweet. Z-Blaze has come up with another health and fitness smart wrist brand. Wrist band. There you go. Okay, and it's all separated into pieces. Let's talk about it. We're getting this puppy from Banggood. Uh, we may even have a Z-Blaze uh, store link for you over on AliExpress. Not sure yet, but for sure. Uh, we've got this one here. Ultra Ultra lightweight, 1.57 inch, a full screen, about $40. Again, check the show notes for coupons and check our special Banggood uh, link that we've got uh, for all kinds of coupons on all kinds of watches. What it's got inside of it, as far as specs go, ooh, tiny, tiny, this one. Android uh, and iOS capable. It's using QWatch Pro as an app. That's interesting. Here's the different languages supported on the device and on the app. And then we get into the basic, basic stuff. You've got your information push stuff, health things like heart rate, blood pressure, and blood oxygen. Uh, it looks like it's got sleep monitor, women's health tracking on it as well. And, of course, sedentary reminder, your exercise uh, activities that are included. I don't believe GPS. We'll check that out in detail. And um, overall applications, watch faces, music control, camera control, games, interesting, alarms, and so forth. It's IP68 rated with a 1.57 inch 200 by 320 pixel screen. A little low on the resolution, but it's a small screen, so it should be legible and fairly sharp. About 14 days standby, 7 days usage time, and an hour and a half or so magnetic connector charging. And that's all of the specs. When we dive into it, we find a typical uh, charging uh, wire with magnetic coupled with two uh, points on it and then the actual uh, watch itself q watch pro app they want you to definitely tether to that tiny little module protectors on both the front and the back wow okay that's just right over the diode itself Ooh, and it's sticky ah all right, I'll just keep it for now. And <laughs> we've got the, the charging connector, which, of course, without the bands on it, should be able to hold it really easy. And um, TPU-style removable bands that we'll be putting on it for our review. Deeper into here, we get to the overall Meteor Manual in multiple languages. In English, starting here, we've got uh, charging information and the overall functions, sleep, steps, and motion, sure. Blood pressure, weather, music, okay. Typical uh, smartwatch for today. Respiration, that's the inhale, exhale, relaxation. There's your QR code in my finger for downloading the tethering app or check in the show notes. We'll have a link for you there. And then you tether it to the app, which looks like this. That's what your sleep time is going to look like. Your continuous heart rate looks pretty decent. Okay, the uh, female cycle information and so forth. And some attention, FAQs, and that wraps it up for the manual. All right, we'll be right back. Well, turns out this is a really fun one. <laughs> I like it a lot. It's got a nice, easy, flexible TPU band. It's a nice, almost edge-to-edge -edge screen display, very rectangular, and some really good bright data that you can see on it. Swiping down, I've got that twist the wrist to see the time, do not disturb, which turned that off last night. Uh, brightness levels here. You can go up to there for brightness and down as low as that. Not a big range. I'm running in on about a three for our review alarm you can turn the watch off right there and of course you can go into settings where you've got preferences for your overall date format the languages supported in here check these out i'm telling you for a tiny little watch like this it's got some of the stuff that big ones uh, expensive ones have your time format can be changed your message uh, bright light it up if you got a message coming in and even your vibration intensity can be changed 
lot of flexibility in the overall settings as well and that's just simply by swiping down over to the right you get notifications pushed from your phone and coming up we get into our different uh apps in the app drawer you got your step count we'll see that in cards here in a minute going uh, to the left you've got your last night's sleep time sadly i slept with it but it didn't record it i wanted to show it to you you've got an overall sports section with uh, all these different sports typical stuff no uh, gps in this one though but uh, definitely has a whole bunch of sports including swimming in here so must be ip rated for that in terms of sports records, I did a little walk, a seven-minute walk, and this shows you what it uh, calculates or accumulates, including your uh, real-time heart rate, high and low, which, man, you don't see that until you get into the very expensive watches. You got separate heart rate, blood oxygen, blood pressure readings. We'll show you those in the cards. Alarms you can set. It's got an onboard calculator in here. That's kind of sweet. Uh, basic uh, countdown timers and a count up stopwatch that unfortunately does not run in the background. You have to stop it and when you leave it, it resets it. You got breath training and you can do, uh, depending on like if you just finished a workout, you can be slightly fast, smo soothing, slightly slow and uh, breathe in and out based on uh, that rate. Uh, remote camera capability, remote music. Again, you'll be playing those from the phone uh, and using that as a trigger because there's no speaker in here. It's not a, a Bluetooth uh, tethering kind of a calling device. You have a game in here you can play and uh, you move it back and forth and avoid getting hit and all those things. And I guess we bail out of it this way. You've got weather in your area, centigrade or Fahrenheit, as set by the uh, app, and then back over to settings. So that's pretty much it. A lot of different watch faces. We'll look at a couple of them, and then you can download some of them from the app. Here's another watch face. Now from the faces, you slide over here. You get your step count, distance, travel, calories, burn, and you can see how many steps and when you took them the most uh, recent or biggest one is is uh you actually see the step count above it land on this one you're starting to get your heart rate and you have a progressive chart going on that's calibrated uh that you can see what your past heart rate was slide again you get into all of your different uh act, well your latest activity and i guess you can switch it to other ones so if you're typically walking you can initiate it right there here's a weather uh tab for weather in your area here's a uh, the player that will allow you to play the whatever music or podcasts you have flowing in your phone you can uh, pause it and, and go forward and backward with it there as well and beyond that you have the um messages pushed from your phone and you're back to the watch face so they loop around this way too now i did want to show you that in blood oxygen here which we don't have a card for nor do we have blood pressure but it can be taken here that it is uh using the green diode technology on this one uh, as opposed to the red diode so you've got that and you have the time on the screen as well and then in your blood pressure you're going to get systolic diastolic time is there and it's also using the green diodes we're running QWatch Pro, which is a bit different. Haven't really used this one that much. When you've got it all set up and you're tethered to it and you've got some data on it, it looks like this. Your big step count of the moment is right here. You have a slider that shows you how many steps at any particular time. That's kind of cool. You can't double click into it though. And uh, the SMS, please allow whitelist, all kinds of permissions it's asking for. Heart rate is here and you see it's giving you continuous heart heart rate just like we saw on the watch and it's going to give you your breakout for the day and what zones you were in i've been pretty sedentary all day so i just have regular and a little bit of warm up there and you can slide along and check out those peaks and troughs and see what your highs and low were right there in really big digits that's nice and of course you can change uh days which i just did back to yesterday and there's a break when i wasn't wearing the watch and so it doesn't record which is great to know too it's not giving you bogus data like some of them do sadly no sleep time from last night but you see it breaks it up this way total deep and so forth no rim uh sleep calculation though 
If I exercise record, here's the one that I did, and you saw this on the watch, and here it is on the app. So you have all your data right over here too, including your heart rate with a scale, so you can gauge basically where you were. Now you don't have the same touch to see exactly, but you have an overall gauge that helps out. And of course that will shrink or expand as you go longer or shorter in your workouts and then blood oxygen is right here and it's taking it periodically it's not continuous you know for blood oxygen but it's showing me roughly 98 percent in the last zone regions here yeah okay and then it shows you the overall chart as well and explains a bit more about it and how to take the proper measurement so you can get an accurate reading Get down here, you got blood pressure, systolic, diastolic. Again, you can go to any time in an hour, it looks like, and get the data. Here's uh, yesterday. There's that break when I didn't have anything going on, and it skipped through that. So well thought out app that's giving us what we need, when we need it, how we need it, and being able to read the, the data uh, in a large thing. You can edit the cards and change them around. In terms of the device, it shows a picture of it. We're tethered to it. It's unbound right now. i got to reset it back up again. You can turn on call alerts, message notifications, all of these things. Turn on or off all these detections, which it will do periodically uh, twist your wrist to see the time basic basic units are imperial fahrenheit and 12 hour you can change those of course and then uh, on screen time you can go as low as five seconds i believe four four seconds up to 10 i like to run it at 10 seconds for the uh, review so it doesn't time out reboot it factory reset it all the basic stuff these are the different watch faces from the store that you can install and notice they're all in that nice rectangular format and they're not trying to squeeze a silly round clock onto a rectangular screen. They've been custom made to look really nice on this screen. I love them. Great, great. Well, there's one. Okay. Got to get an analog one in there somewhere. But most of these are digital and uh, colorful, playful. It makes for a nice, uh, a nice watch. And we have wallpaper that you can create with your own background pictures and move stuff around. And um, all that's available. And then the stuff for you, you can log in. I'm just in as a guest right now. Once you do, you can set up your profiles and goals and so forth. About it, feedback to the company. And uh, yeah, that's the app. So um, I think it's a pretty darn decent little watch, especially at the price. Now, I got a peek at what the coupon is that Banggood is giving us on this one. And it's listing at $39.99. I'm pretty sure they're bringing this in under 20 bucks. I think. I'm not sure. Um, double check because it should be up there right now. And uh, check the show notes for the link to get over there. And we have our massive special buying uh, uh, link for... Uh, for Banggood products, and uh, I know it's listed in there as well. Uh, so be sure to apply the coupon on this one, especially throughout the holiday season right now. These are great stocking stuffers. You might want to pick up a few of them. It's called the Z Blaze Meteor Ultra Lightweight 1.5 and 7 inch smartwatch. Yeah. Okay. Thanks for watching, gang. We'll see you again soon.